Uh, in my last video, I talked about a visor that I had, a black visor, so there was no uh, coverage on the top of the head. And uh, what I liked about that was I could actually cinch the visor down really low, like just over the top of my ears, and bring it real down low over the back of my head, so that when I'm running, um, and if you're really fast, when you run, you generate apparent wind. And, um, when I would cinch it down real low, the wind could not catch the bill and flip the visor off. I ended up giving the visor away because it was fading. I'd had it for like two years and I wanted just to get a new one or something. I was over at uh, like Ross dressed for less or like a TJ Maxx or something and I found this uh, new, new Balance black hat for like 10 bucks, okay? Well, I've, I've worn this hat um, two or three times and this hat has come flying off twice in a game and it, it's not that great of a look when you're running your hat comes flying off and you gotta go back and pick it up and stuff so um, I was looking for a way to remedy that and I was looking for a way to protect my ears if I wasn't wearing my uh, black balaclava or however you say it. Like, what's nice about a bucket hat is this one, it's uh, got a mesh up here, so it allows your head to breathe and all the heat that's coming off the top of your head can let the, the sides. And it's, and it's got a pretty big brim, so it'll keep the sun off my, my ears, off the, uh, my, my, my forehead and my face, and like a little bit off my, my neck. Okay, and then plus I can cinch it up with this, right? But you're not going to wear something like this when you rep soccer um, because I'll, I wouldn't. This thing looks kind of unprofessional. Maybe the hats in general look kind of unprofessional, but at the lower levels, again, um, the health of our skin and risking cancer over doing like a, you know, a U17 or a U14 or a U12 game, who, who really cares? I don't know. Maybe you do. I'm just offering this to you. So um, one thing I don't like about any bucket hat is when this thing gets soggy or wet, this brim gets flimsy, okay? So it doesn't look good when it's all flimsy and stuff, right? So let's look at some of the different hats that I got and then uh, you can make a decision for yourself about what one you might buy for you or for a son or daughter who's in uh, the occupation of, rock, of rep and soccer. Okay. Um, first, the reason why I bought all these five bucket hats is because all of the bucket hats have this really cool, it's like a neoprene-ish-esque strap that goes underneath your chin and that covers your ears. So that way I can run, you know, I'm really fast to run about 75 miles an hour. So no matter how fast I go, the hat's not going to come off. So I really like that. Um, I can just strap it on. So all these hats have it. So let's take a look at this first one. Uh, this is by Top X. It is 100% uh, nylon and its size is 59 centimeters. Now this hat just, <laughs> sorry guys, this hat just feels ridiculous because the, the, the brim is all over the place. You can push the sides up with these little buttons. And I don't know if you can see this, but the side part of the hat is all flimsy, right? And it's, and it's thin. But this front part is like a, it's thicker. It's like there's a piece of cardboard or something in there. So it, it keeps more of its shape. Um, and it does have some uh, little mesh stuff on the side to let out some of the heat. Um, it's a nice black color. Again, in like a, year or two that'll probably be all faded. Um, and it's got a little uh, sh cinch strap to tighten down uh, the hat around the side of your head. Um, with both sides folded up, it looks like that. It feels really similar to the other one. And um, the brim on the Quicksilver one here feels thicker. It's also not as uh, big, so it's a shorter brim here compared to this one, the top X. Um, so this is the large, extra large size. This one actually feels kind of comfortable. So again, I can uh, pull this one pretty down far over the top of my head. 
Um, it's going to cover my ears fully. This one does not have any mesh on the sides. It's just got two little holes that are like don't look like they're going to do too much. Uh, it's going to provide some protection for my forehead, but not a lot back here on the actual neck. Okay, the rip curl. Oh my gosh. It's too small for my head. Uh, it, it's got that thing where it's got the solid uh, front part of the uh, brim. It's like there's like a piece of cardboard in there or something. Um, great ear protection, which is where everyone forgets to put sun, sunblock. The rip curl's got some of those side vents right here. Um, this one feels like and looks like it's like it's like the thickest and like the best made. This is the rip curl. A little tight on my head for 23 and a half inches, which is my, the crown on my head. It's like a pocket up in the top. Maybe you could put like a key up there. If, if this is like a surf hat, right? Or maybe um, I don't know an ice pack to to, to keep to keep yourself cool. Uh, best construction I'm gonna give to this uh, rip curl hat. Got the drawstring in the back, couple uh, holes up top there to, you know, vent the, vent the hat. Um, for my head size, this one feels feels good. I wouldn't go with this one because the color is gray and it's got this white logo here. 